what about mistakes, by the way? Do you what are the I'm thinking about if I think of a big mistake, I think of like a devastating mistake would it would be a small bit but big mistake could be the latte scenario mm-hmm. that David mm-hmm. Bach talks about. Eight bucks a day for a latte and a scone that could have ended up becoming a million. But I think of something maybe more like a ca- the cash out refi boom. Like those uh-huh. that was there was some like those were big mess ups. Yeah. Right? People would take out seventy five grand and then they would just go spend it from the house. Next thing you know, they're upside down. Like those were that was a those were big mistakes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you are you seeing anything a like that now or b just what are some like repeated mistakes that your your cohort that you could maybe help with? I, d- I mean, I think the, ca- the cash out refi thing is another. It's a potential mistake for a lot of people right now, and I think with mortgage rates going down and people thinking, you know, I, I can refinance and I can save money, or wait a second, I can pull more money out of my house, mm-hmm. and I'm gonna, you know, I'm still gonna try to keep the balance reasonable, but that can end up harming you in the end. If you pull mm-hmm. out too much money and then you can't afford your mortgage, um, and it, a lar- large part of it depends on what you're doing with that money too. If you're using it to fuel consumption, that's a terrible idea. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think one of the biggest mistakes though that people make with money is comparing how they should how they should be spending mm. with how other people around them are spending, right? And so it's easy to say, well, like my neighbors are doing this, my neighbor just got a new car, or most people drive a relatively new car, so I should probably mm. have something that's two to three year old years old as well. Um, or, you know, my neighbor takes three vacations a year. That's probably what I should be doing. Um, and really it's that comparison game that leads us to a lot of the mistakes that we make. Um, and it leads us also to unfulfilled lives. Like we haven't done the hard work to figure out what is it that I want my life to look like. And, and we just kind of start to reflect and look like the people around us. And I think we have to be willing to kind of march to our own drummer, both financially and then just lifestyle wise. Um, and I think when we are, we're going to be yeah more secure when it comes to our money. Um, and we're going to be living lives that are more on our terms. I think for a lot of people, they work more to make more money, to buy more stuff. And it's like, man, actually, if, if I stop to think about it, some of the things I would write down as the most important things in my life are time with family. Um, and so maybe even cutting back to, God forbid, a 30-hour work week or a 35-hour work week, I try to keep my work to 35 hours a week, for mm-hmm. real. And um, I think that's important for my family life, right? And mm-hmm. um, my time to be able to spend with friends. And I try to do everything within a close proximity. I bike a lot. Mm-hmm. Um, th- I think most people, we, we yeah, we own one car, and it's a it's a 2006 Honda Odyssey. So I think a lot of people base their spending or their you know, what their lifestyle should look like on what most people around them are doing.